Hello everyone and welcome to Streaming Storytime. I'm Elizabeth and I will be doing your story time today. We have books about bears and puppies today. Thought we would get started with kind of our movement and affirmation and go from there. So we're going to start with I am great and stretch as far as you can. I am smart. I am strong, I am loved, and today will be an awesome day. Alright, shall we get started? Let's start with our first book, Where's My Teddy? Has anybody seen teddies out in the wild while we have been at home? I know I've spotted a few in my neighborhood. Eddie's off to find his teddy. Eddie's teddy is named Freddy. He lost him in the woods somewhere. It's dark and horrible in there. Help, said Eddie. I'm scared already. I want my bed. I want my teddy. Do you think he'll find his teddy? He tiptoed on and on until something made him stop quite still. Look out, he thought. There's something there. What's that? Where? What do you think it could be? A giant, giant teddy bear. Is it Freddy? Said Eddie. What a surprise. How did you get to be that size? That is a giant teddy bear. You're too big to huddle and cuddle, he said. And I'll never fit both of us in my bed. Do you have teddies at home? Is your teddy that big? Then out of the darkness, clearer and clearer, the sound of sobbing came nearer and nearer. Soon the whole woods could hear the voice fall. How, how did you get to be so tiny and small? You're too small to huddle and cuddle, it said, and you'll only get lost in my giant size bed. I think there's been a teddy bear mix-up. It was a gigantic bear and a tiny teddy stomping towards. There's our giant bear, the giant bear, and Eddie. Hi, Blythe and Vivian. Thank you for joining us today. Would you like to share a picture of everyone's teddy in the comments? I'll add mine and some activities in just a minute. My Ted guessed the bear. A bear, screamed Daddy. A boy, yelled the bear. My Teddy, cried Daddy. Then they ran and they ran through the dark woods back to their homes as fast as they could. Can we run in place at home? all the way back to their snuggly beds where they huddled and cuddled their own little teds. The end. I think I would have liked the giant teddy bear, but that's just me. All right, should we make some noise, guys? Are we ready? One, two, three. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. Ready? We clap, clap, clap and stop. We clap, clap, clap and stop. We clap, 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 clap and stop. Very good. My favorite part. We shake, shake, shake and stop. We shake, shake, shake and stop. We shake, 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 shake and stop. Hey Danielle, if I got your name correct, thank you for joining us. All right, my favorite part. Grown-ups, you can tickle your little person at home if you would like. I'm going to use my stand-in teddy. Are you ready? We tickle and tickle and stop. We tickle and tickle and stop. We tickle and tickle and tickle and tickle and tickle and tickle and stop. Thank you. All right, should we do a classic? Can everybody help me? with Itsy Bitsy Spider. 
Hey Joseph, thank you for joining us today. All right, are you ready to get started? One, two, three. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Thank you so much, everyone. Should we try our next book? I'm gonna need some help with some counting and hide and seek. Can we do that, everyone? Gonna see some thumbs up if we wanna play hide and seek? Thank you. Bear and hare, where is bear? Bear and hare are playing hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's Bear? Cassidy, can you help me find Bear? There, there is Bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where? Where is Bear? There is Bear. I'm not sure Bear is very good at hide and seek, but at least he's trying, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is Bear? Oh, bear. He tried. Maybe hair should try hiding instead. Do we think that'll work out better? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is hair? Should we go look? Is hair in the teapot? Hmm. No. How about under the rug? No. Behind the picture, I bet. No. Huh? Where? Oh, where is hair? Maybe hair is under the blanket? Do we see anything that could be hair under the blanket? Under the lamp? Nope. Behind the books? No. In the fish tank? No. Where? Oh, where is Bear? Where do we think Bear is, everyone? I want Bear! Bear. Bear is Bear. The end. I thought it was really cute. And Bear did get much better at hide and seek by the end, right? All right, should we move around a bit more? Let's go bouncing. Are we ready? We will try toasting the toaster at home. You have two options. You can have your grown up bounce you, or you can hop along at home. And we're gonna do this twice, once at normal speed and once as fast as we can. I'm gonna use my little friend today so I don't hop in and out of frame on everyone. Ready? One, two, three. Toast in the toaster, getting mighty hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up by up. All right, are you ready? Can we do that super duper fast? Ready? One, two, three. Toast in the toaster, getting mighty hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up by up. All right. Should we do one more counting activity with bears? Bear with me, I've got it pulled off to, up off to the side here. One little bear wondering what to do. Along came another, and then there were two. 
two little bears climbing up a tree. Along came another, and then there were three. Three little bears ate, ate an apple core. Along came another, and then there were four. Four little bears found honey in a hive. Yum. Along came another, and then there were five. Should we see if we can get all the way to ten? Five little bears heard a loud roar. Can you hear your best roar? Rawr. One ran away, and then there were four. Four little bears climbing up a tree. One slid down, and then there were three. Three little bears deciding what to do. One fell asleep, and then there were two. Two little bears having lots of fun. One went home, hi, and then there was one. One little bear feeling all alone ran to his mother, and then there were none. But I bet he had fun with mom. All right, should we try one last book? This one's slightly switching gears. I have 15 things not to do with a puppy. Does anyone have a puppy at home? Can I see some thumbs up if you have a puppy? or if you want a puppy. Puppies have lots of energy. Sometimes they do things they shouldn't, but mostly they are lovely. A bit like you, in fact. Does your puppy have bright eyes and a licky tongue at one end and a waggly tail at the other? Good, that means she's happy and healthy. Now follow these simple rules. Don't take your puppy hang gliding. It might not go well. Don't teach your puppy to play the tuba or let her have the remote control. Don't take your puppy to the soft play area or to the swimming pool. Don't let her help with the gardening, though I bet she would enjoy. And don't overfeed her, especially cabbage. Ew. Don't teach your puppy to chase butterflies. She already knows how to do that. Oh, how cute. Elizabeth, bingo sounds like a great name for a puppy. Don't walk your puppy at a football match. And never try to walk her when she's asleep. Let her have her nap. Don't take your puppy to the library. Though we do have special dogs you can read to. Don't let your puppy drive the car. You probably need thumbs for that. Or juggle with the washing up. Could be dangerous. Never send your puppy to do the shopping. Or leave her at the cafe. Do cuddle your puppy and love her. Give her plenty of food and fresh water. Play with her. Let her sleep when she is tired. And make sure she gets lots and lots of exercise. And soon you'll be best. Thank you so much, everyone. Hey, Kenneth, thank you for joining us today. So, should we move around a tiny bit more? Let's see. This one's one of my favorites. It's for the slightly younger crowd, but again, you have two options. You can have your grown-up bounce you at home, or you can hop along with us. Ready? One, two, three. A bouncing we will go. A bouncing we will go. Hi ho the Dario. A bouncing we will go. A rocking we will go. A rocking we will go. Hi ho the Dario. A rocking we will go. Right. Can we make some noise? And this is gonna look funny because you can't see my feet and frame, but I promise I'm stomping. Ready? One, two, three. A stomping we will go. A stomping we will go. Hi ho the Dario. A stomping we my favorite part, a tickling we will go, a tickling we will go, hi ho the dario, a tickling we will go. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you enjoyed story time and we will be back tomorrow at 11. Also make sure to check out our Facebook. We've added all kinds of weekly programs. We have a fitness class. We are making key lime popsicles. We're learning different languages and all kinds of things. So I hope you enjoy our new programs. Have a good day.